Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to be brief. Um, if you're not tuning into French politics, now is the time. Uh, it is getting really, really interesting. Uh, yesterday, uh, I talked about how significant it was for the Republican Party president, Chioti, uh, to, to break the cordon sanitaire and agree to go into coalition with Le Pen's far-right Assemblement National Party, uh, and how this was making other members of the Republican Party uh, uh, incandescent with rage, and that it would be worthwhile keeping an eye on what happens there, and certainly faster than I thought uh, it did kick off inside there. Uh, this is today's Le Monde. Um, uh, if you, if I really recommend it. If you want to follow French politics um, and French news in general, Le Monde is the place to go. Um, I think it's the biggest French daily. If not, it's very close. Uh, and it's okay if you don't speak French. Many of their articles are summarized in English. Okay, so the lead story is that uh, the uh, arrangement between between Chioti is accelerating the recomposition recompos of the far right, uh, which it is, and that's what Le Pen wanted and has wanted for a very long time. But also, quite critically, the president uh, is has been excluded by the party. Uh, yep, that is very true. They literally locked the guy, the president of the party, out of the offices. Oh no, rather, he locked the offices and other party members broke in. All right, he's refusing to step down. Other Republicans are demanding that he does. Apparently, the vote to oust him was universal amongst the deputies. Uh, some of the rhetoric um, uh, from the Republicans is the 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 hardliners and the old timers is 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 pretty harsh. Like they're saying stuff like, um, uh, "Let's get back to uh, killing these fascist uh, OAS pigs." Um, they didn't use the word pigs. They use they use a a, a, a word which is significantly worse. Uh, this is a reference to um, the 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 secret army um, back in the nineteen sixties. They were they were part of uh, Ordre Nouveau. Um, they were a militant far right group founded by um, uh, French army officers and some politicians, and they were hardcore terrorists. Right, and they they killed thousands of people, and they even tried to um, to to assassinate Charles de Gaulle. So uh, the 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 connection there is that um, with uh, uh, Ordre Nouveau that spawned uh, um, uh, uh, Front National, the National Front, which then subsequently spawned uh, Rassemblement National, which is Le Pen's uh, effort to kind of detoxify the far right. Okay, so the, it is true to say that between you know there there are there are fifty or sixty year old um, uh, bitter disputes on the right between the Republicans who are Gaullist and 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 uh, Rassemblement National who are um, who are far right. Okay, it's fascinating to watch. Uh, final thing on uh, Le Pen, she she talked overnight about um, repatriating Islamists who are dual nationals, uh, which is a really interesting formulation uh, and and. Um, I'd like to talk about why she did that, and I might do that in a subsequent episode about French demographics in the context of colonization. And to, to leave you with a thought experiment there, imagine if uh, Keir Starmer, as the next prime minister, uh, decided there are too many Australians in Shepherd's Bush and to repatriate them all. Imagine the logistics, uh, the, the, the logistical difficulties of trying to do something like that. And um, in the episode, I might, I'm going to uh, draw. A similar sort of a parallel uh, if I get round to it. Uh, okay, so that's it. Um, Simon TV, thank you for tuning in, everyone. Final thought, there are too many Australians in Shepherd's Bush. See you next time.